Pig, would you like to be my friend? <sighs> Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes. <gasps> and who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City. Peppa is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Peppa. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Peppa? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur. It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let us start. First off, choose what kind of clothes you will wear. What colour do you want them to be? Great! Now choose the animal you want to be. Good choice! What colour do you want to be? Would you like to wear glasses? To start playing, choose yes. If you want to make a change, choose no. Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first, let's try walking. Use the stick to move around. What a nice flower. Why don't you get close to it? Now press a button to touch it. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. The butterfly is flying away. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry, you can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. Oh, hello! Welcome to the town! Where are you going, little one? To talk to Miss Rabbit, walk up to her and press the action button. Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. You've learned how to move around in Peppa Pig's town. If you keep walking, you can meet Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Peppa Pig A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody, you're here. Welcome. We're going to have a lovely time. You're here, you're here. We're going to have the best day ever. Why don't we go visit my granny and grandpa? Their house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Hello to him. 
Hmm. Hello, Pepper. I see you have a new friend. Do you want to help? Excellent. I have just the task for you. Why don't you sit here and mix this bowl for me? Well done. You're a great mixer. We're going to make a lovely salad with these vegetables. Oh, would you mind turning it back on so I can read? <coughs> What's the matter, George? Why are you crying? Dinosaur. <coughs> Dinosaur. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur? Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! We're good at finding things. Dinosaur! I can see it! It's stuck in that tree! Next to the muddy puddle! Let's see if we can get it down. It seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Shaking the tree will not help. to him. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? <laughs> Pepper does. <laughs> Let's go. Super Potato! He is the power of vegetables! Have you been to Potato City? <laughs> I really want to go. <laughs> Bummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Peppa? Why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! <laughs> That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. This is my room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. <laughs> Don't 
tummy into a frog. <laughs> Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the toys in my basket. <gasps> I think George would like to play with you too. Impossible. George, I'm busy with my new friend. <gasps> Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. OK. You're it. <laughs> OK, then. I'll leave you to it. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello, Mr. Bull. What is going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. Oh, we won't delay you any longer. You must be busy. Uh, is there a way to go through? Ho oh, ho, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. We will. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. That old, George. Dinosaur. Ooh, it looks very nice. I think it's too long for you. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty, and you can have 
anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes. We want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great queen, Pepper. Yes, George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> 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 Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you will see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Ooh. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Try it out, strap in, and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please!
wonder if Miss Rabbit will take us up in the balloon. Ooh, a butterfly. It's so pretty. Let's follow it. Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. Whose tracks are these? If we follow them, we'll find out. Maybe it's insects. Come to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops! I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Pepper's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? But it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy, we have to give them some food. Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full. Well, 
At least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit What a lovely spot for camping. Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Peppa's Hello, Peppa. friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Peppa and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Get around, children. Who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 Me. Okay, then. We're playing. 